We're going to do a scenario assessment of a car on car. So in this application, what we're looking at is stability of loads, how do we secure all this stuff, and then how do we start our extrication sequence. I'm going to try and just pass on some foundational rules that I use as I kind of process this and make decisions about where to go. The first decision you've got to make right out of the chute is, is there any possibility of a lift on the upper segment or the upper car? If there is a possibility of a lift, then you really can't anchor this load to this load. You got to make sure that both loads are stabilized and shored up independently of one another. That allows movement of that vehicle. We're going to kind of put that on the back burner and start with some more simplistic approaches before we jump right into the lift. Okay? So if we approach this, uh, we don't need to do a lift on this upper vehicle, then what I typically do is I start at the ground with the most secure load and I try to create a rigid or a stable platform with that bottom layer or that, that first vehicle. So that would be a white minivan here, okay? A couple things to consider. Number one, I want to start with primary stabilization, meaning I'm going to put four points of contact out of this and make sure that the white vehicle is secured to the ground. Then I want to make sure that I compress anything that can move on this white vehicle, being the front suspension that has a load on it. The easiest way to tackle that equation is to run a ratchet strap or a tensioning element from the top side of the wheel over the hood line to the other wheel and then ratchet it down. That way if we do have a shift or any type of movement on that upper vehicle, we're not going to have any lift on the bottom vehicle. So that fully captures and secures this bottom, this bottom load. Once we take care of this home base or this foundation, now we can jump up to the independent load. So what we're worried about most with this vehicle as I look at it is a shift forward and a shift laterally. With that shift forward, I can secure that by driving wedge packs underneath the nose of the vehicle. That's the primary stabilization on, on that. The secondary stabilization can uh, involve securing this load to this stabilized load. Some guys will run straight straps, so they might capture the rear of this vehicle somewhere, the C-post, the undercarriage, and come straight back to this A. Although that will tension the vehicle back this way, it doesn't do anything to prevent movement of the vehicle laterally. So what I want to encourage you to consider is basically doing X-lashing, okay? So we're going to take our ratchet straps, we're going to secure them to this vehicle, and then we're going to run in diagonals so that we secure each opposing corner. That's going to draw this top vehicle, this Volvo, into the white car, and it's also going to prevent any shifts left to right. So that's kind of the, the inception. Once you tackle that, this is secured to this, this is secured to ground. <clears throat> the other consideration or wrinkle that you want to roll into this is where are my extrication points? What do I have to cut? What do I have to remove? And make sure that the anchors you choose are independent of those cut zones. For example, if I come in here and rig to this A, then I've got to assume that I can't do a whole lot with the, this A pillar or A post. If I start making cuts, doing dash displacements, anything on, along those lines, I'm actually moving my anchor and making my anchor unsecure. So just consider that big picture as you progress through this, okay? So remember your rules. Rule number one, start with a vehicle that goes to ground. Get it stabilized and secured to ground. Then compress that vehicle so it's not going to move or travel, and then jump to the independent load and secure it to your primary stabilized load. Make one tight package. That's option one. We'll do that now and then we'll talk. Try 
that one. Great, and drive these two. If you can't secure the nose of the vehicle with friction, or if the angle is significant enough, or if your terrain features indicate that this is even a higher risk initially of slipping off of the primary vehicle, you can also lash this vehicle to this vehicle in a vertical fashion. So you can simply take a ratchet strap, go to what's accessible, you can go from wheel to wheel, just make sure you're capturing um, forward and rear points on that wheel. You don't want to go to a front side where either of those wheels may roll, move, or shift. It's not the end all. It is an initial attack attachment just to make this a little bit safer as we approach it to put all the other parts and pieces on. Just on the back side. 